so this is how the carbon cycle is flowing so you got a carbon which is deposited in the ground and is merged with plants to give the growth of the plant let's see that carbon cycle the following cycle of reaction takes place in carbon and nitrogen in which carbon acts as a catalyst you got your proton which merged with your carbon 12 to form the nitrogen and this is not stable and there will be emission of gamma rays this is your first equation now the unstable nitrogen 13 which will become carbon 13 with a positron and neutrino emitter because this is unstable you got your carbon 13 neutrino positron and neutrino now I got my carbon 13 which will combine with your proton to form a nitrogen 14 and a gamma rays emitter now you got your gamma ray now my nitrogen 14 will merge with the proton once again to form a unstable oxygen 15 you can see it here and the emission of gamma ray is happening once so my nitrogen 14 sorry my oxygen 15 which is unstable it won't stay for a while and it will become a nitrogen 15 and the emission of a positron and neutrino is happening you are able to see this one now we are into this one my nitrogen 15 will merge with the proton to form finally the carbon 12 which is here and the helium is emitter I got my hydrogen which will merge with nitrogen to form carbon 12 once again and helium so this is how my reactions are so we got the hydrogen four hydrogens which becomes your helium the reason is our proton merged with carbon gives carbon itself so four proton becomes a helium with two positron and two neutrino and enormous amount of energy that's approximately 26.7 mega electron volt